Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We're the Garso Twins. I'm Britta. And I'm Carly. We would love it if you would subscribe down below and hit that bell so you're notified when we upload. Today we're doing our June favorites. You know our favorites videos are our favorite ones to film. We're super excited, lots of good stuff, so let's get started. Okay, we actually both have a brush favorite this month. I picked up the Refer 05 brush. Um, Alana Davison talked about this. She did like a all the brushes you would ever need type video. And she mentioned this is her favorite powder bronzer brush. And I have been really into cream bronzers lately, but I still love a good powder bronzer and still like love using them, especially when I want my makeup to last throughout the day. And I had been using the JH03, the Jaclyn Hill Morphe brush, and I really you liked- You still were using that? Yeah, it works okay. really well. And mm -hmm. I really liked it, but it is just so big and I just wanted something a little more precise, but I love the shape and I feel like this is perfect. It's the same exact shape as that brush, but it's smaller. What I love about this, I'm sure you can tell from the top, but it really like fits in the hollows of your cheeks and I love that I can, you know, really like I can dab into the powder and then kind of like brush it on like back and forth or I can easily like tap, tap, tap and it doesn't like look streaky or it doesn't look overly pigmented. It just like lays down the powder so nicely and it really makes it really effortless to do my makeup and I can easily like take this down the sides of the nose. I brush it on my eyelids. Like I can put this everywhere and it never deposits too much product but it still like effortlessly blends it out and I know these brushes are so expensive but if you're like me, like I just wanted, I've been using that JHO3 brush for years and so I was like if I'm investing in something I'm going to use for years, I don't mind paying a little bit extra. So it's expensive, but I think it's worth it. I'm really impressed with the quality. Like the, overall, it doesn't feel super weighted or like luxe, but I feel like the actual like brush head and the bristles are what makes it like you can justify the cost. The so, filaments. Yeah, the filaments. So I really, really love it. It's dirty, obviously I need to wash it, but it's like the perfect, perfect powder bronzer brush. Yeah, it looks really nice. Mm -hmm. So I got a brush for cream bronzer and it is and the, I want that one. Yeah, we both used these in our most recent get ready. Oh, yeah, we so did. we can link that video down below so you guys can see them in action. But it is the Royal and Lang Nickel Amya BOM-185 brush. And I mentioned this in that video, but I purchased this from Target because Target seems to have this thing now where like the brand can fulfill the order, but you place it on Target. Like how Walmart does. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I would have never even found this brush if they wouldn't have been on Target. So great on them that they're on Target now. So I got this because it looked like kind of similar to Berta's brush where it like is very slim from the top. Well, slim, like it's not, you know, a straight line, but it's definitely more slim than a lot of other brushes that I've used to apply cream bronzer. And it's tapered in the middle, so the middle like goes up mm -hmm. and then it falls down the sides, which always really helps with like blending. And then this is like pretty dense. Like I would also use this to apply foundation. I think it'd be lovely. Um, so it's pretty dense, but I love how it applies cream bronzer. And I actually just washed this for the second time and it also washes really well. Does yours? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like none of the well, brushes get weird and it doesn't like fall out or shed. Yeah, that's something I should mention. When you get this brush, it's super, super flat and you're like, that doesn't look anything like how I see it like on YouTube. And as soon as you wash it, it really like fluffs out the bristles and like makes it more soft and like easier to use. So definitely wash it when you mm -hmm. get it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I used this to apply the NARS cream bronzer today and I just... I feel like it's perfect because I really can get like almost like a contour line where I'll like dab it on like right on my cheekbone with like the heaviest amount and then just go back in and like keep you know stippling up and down and it blends it out so quickly like so much quicker than any of the other brushes I've tried but it still keeps the product like in that line. Today I brought it down kind of further because I just felt like my face needed more color. But That's if you, how I like to apply cream Yeah, but if you want to yeah. like keep it in a straight like contour line, it really stays there. Or you can just like, you know, gently like dab all the way around, dab, dab, dab. It's just so quick. It blends it out so beautifully. I feel like my cream bronzer has looked so much more natural since starting using this brush. And it's only like $20. And honestly, the, like the ferrule and the handle are such good quality. I'm really, really, really impressed. I want to try other brushes from this brand. And you mentioned how they own Moda brushes. Mm -hmm. or they yeah. Make um, Moda brushes, and yeah. those are really good brushes they too. Are. So, yeah, really impressed with this. It was such a random line, but I have to share. Okay, speaking of cream bronzer, um, we tried a bunch of stuff from Beauty Pie. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do like a larger full video, full video reviewing everything. But one of my favorites, we have two actually Beauty Pie products in this. 
products in this video. Um, but the Beauty Pie Quick Contour Contour Super Gel, I've really been enjoying. And I don't have the Charlotte Tilbury one to compare it to, but everyone says this is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury like contour wand. Um, so it has the same packaging, which I don't love the packaging. That's the only thing I don't like about it. I get why they did it this way, because I do like how precise it is. But basically, like you have to open it, like twist it like this. And then you just squeeze the product out. And I find that I often just squeeze too much product. So then it like really sits in this, I don't want it, sponge tip applicator. And I think that's like so hygienic, or like not hygienic. Um, but I'll like swatch the color for you so you can see. So it's a really, really beautiful, it, I, I almost think it's like a contour bronzer. It looks pretty cool tone, but there's a lot of red in here. Mm -hmm. And that would be my only complaint. Like I do really love the color. But it is like when, once you start to blend it out on the skin, it does look a little bit red. So I kind of use this as more of like a cream bronzer um, because it is so natural looking like on days when I don't need a lot of color. I just want to kind of subtly contour my face and like bronze it up. I use this and I really, really love the formula. I find it to be, oh, let me make sure I shut this ultra blendable like I just use I've used a brush and a sponge in both ways like you can kind of tell it just like blends out so so effortlessly it's really really thin um and then it does have like a really nice dry down let me just blend it out and I'll show you so it's very very natural looking if you're a beginner to like cream contour or cream bronzer I think you would really love this product it's so much easier to use than like the NARS one Carly mentioned mm -hmm. which we love but that is a very thick very pigmented bronzer and if you like apply just even a little too much it can really really start to like mess up your makeup and this I feel like it would be impossible to mess up like you saw how easy it was to blend how thin it is on the skin um the dry down it like it dries down completely almost like a powdery finish so I really love this for kind of ease of application like I said on days when I just want a more natural bronzer contour um and the color is really nice I don't want to say it's like too red just on my skin it just looks a little bit red when I start to blend it out so that's why I don't think that I would use it as I feel like a contour I would just want it to be a slightly more cool tone for my skin tone so maybe if they release like more shades in the future that would be amazing mm -hmm. but for now I love it I've been using it almost every day like I said just on like days when I'm just working from home I just want to add a little color and then I can easily layer like the other day I layered the Natasha not Natasha did not did some Myricks um, contour balm on top of it because that one is very yellow based so I thought like mixing this with that would give me like the perfect bronzer and my coworker actually we were on like a zoom and she complimented my skin and was like oh you look so bronze I was like oh I layered these two together so I think layering them up like this really helped to like kind of chisel out my face and then the contour bomb bomb contour kind of like warmed up my skin so I really liked the combination of those two so very very versatile product highly recommend Okay, the other Beauty Pie, Beauty Pie product we wanted to mention, which completely blew me away. Yeah, this is my favorite. I'm, like, shocked. This is, like, a holy grail favorite for me now. It's the Beauty Pie Wonder Gloss Collagen Lip Oil. And a lot of people that we watch have talked about these, um, like, Jen Phelps and uh -huh. State of Kate. Yeah, the so two these. of them. I know that Jen has, like, all the colors. And yeah. then State of Kate has a lot of them too. Yeah, and so when we were like placing our first Beauty Pie orders, we both were like, oh, we have to try these. Like, they loved them. And I got the shade Jammy because um, Jen had talked about it in yeah. her video. Mm -hmm. And then I got Nude Nectar because mm -hmm. I really wanted a clear, but the clear had glitter in yeah, it or shimmer. shimmer. So I decided to go with this. Um, and we are just like shocked. Like, I yeah. actually can't stop talking about it. I bring it out to Brenna like daily. I know, and I have this and <laughs> I have it in my night side table drawer because I like put this on through like a lip balm. Like, I would. Yeah, you guys, this stuff somehow makes your lips feel like so incredibly soft. Like, I, uh, I think it's more of like a lip treatment. Yeah. Honestly. Like, I have been wearing it. I don't have it on right now because I'm wearing another favorite, but. I've been wearing this like every single day this week. Yeah, me too. And after I've like worn it all day and like reapplied, like at nighttime, I'll stop applying it because it's like, you know, this one's a little more pigmented than that. Yeah. Um, and around like 8 p.m., I'm just like, oh my God, my lips feel so I soft know. and like nourished. Yeah. And it's from this. It is just the best way to describe it. Like, you guys know we hate lip gloss. We yes. honestly don't even like lip oil. Mm -mm. But this feels like, I actually feel like it's the. It's a slightly thinner version than the Summer Fridays lip balm, I swear. Well, I don't think I that's swear. a good comparison because I feel like the Summer Fridays lip balm 
is a totally different uh, I feel formula. like they have such similar textures. They have such similar appearances. Like they're both super shiny on your lips. And they yeah. both are super nourishing and they have the exact same scent. I don't if anyone's no, tried, the scent is not the same. Yes, if anyone's tried both, it's not. Please let me know if you think I've that tried both. If I've you, tried both. Yeah, but anyone else, if okay. you think that they're similar, let me know because I can't get over it. I think this scent to me is waffle cone. This is not vanilla, this is waffle cone. It's straight up. I'm going to get I'm going to get the summer fries lip balm. Okay. You walk into you guys walk into a Sprinkles Cupcakes, like where they're making the ice cream waffle cone, and you will smell this smell. This is waffle cone. The summer Fridays I feel like is more vanilla. Okay, I'm back. She's back to prove me wrong. Smell them. Tell me that's not the exact Wait, same no, smell. Wait, I'm getting confused. Because they smell the same. One sec. I have to put some on my hand. Take this. Yeah, I'll put some on my hand too. This is way more pungent. Which one? The beauty pie. Like, I when I use this on Fridays, I feel like I can put it on my lips and the scent dissipates pretty quickly. The beauty pie, I smell for a while. But it's the exact same scent. Is it? Yes. And I swear, you guys, I swear they feel identical. But Although I will, this is thinner because it's yeah. in a doe foot. But, well, I think, I, I just don't want people to think like, like this it comes out so thick that like a little goes a long way. Whereas like since this is thinner, you can like go back and forth. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm just like feeling them even. I'm convinced it's the same. Same. <laughs> is this made in Italy? I don't know, but where is it made? The US yes, probably. Probably. Does it say even? I've never oh, read yeah, that too. Oh what? Hmm. Made in the US. So they're not the same manufacturer. But I'm just- I see what you're saying. I think the, the Summer Fridays has a little bit of stickiness to it though, where, where this one doesn't have any yeah, stickiness. Yeah, I would agree with that. And like I said, because this isn't a doe foot, it has to be, you know, a little bit thinner mm -hmm. than this. But when you, like, I still don't think the scent is identical. Oh my god, smell my hand and tell me they're not the same. They're really similar. Tell me. <laughs> they're really similar, but I still get more of like a like a toasted vanilla from this, like a waffle cone. Waffle cone. This yeah, it like smells a waffle like waffle cone. <laughs> Whereas this is more of like a straight vanilla to me. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, it wow, was the, we were just rambling. It was the first thing I noticed because I've been loving this summer. Yeah, I do really on, love that. And I know a lot of other people like it too. Um, sorry, I have an itch. Um, but I was just like shocked that this like nourishes my lips yeah. just as much as that balm, which people think is like, you know, like a treatment as well. Yeah. But it has a little bit of color, so it's like, you can see it in my hand. It's like a little bit of a sheer wash of color. It makes your lips look plump. Like, yeah. It makes them look plump and hydrated and like juicy and I am just obsessed. Yeah. And I don't think, I don't know, I mean, in the Beauty Pie review we're doing, we'll go over like the cost of something if you're a member, the cost yeah. of something if you're not. Well, so I don't know. Can you buy it if you're not? You can. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the whole point. So I think, um, I don't know what the cost of this I is. I think it's if you're not $30. Well, I was going to say, it's worth it whatever I would pay it. it. I would pay it. It's, it's so, so good. good. Oh, or just get the membership and get a new one of this like every month. Yeah, I was already telling Britta like next month I probably want to get that shade or another one because. Yeah, I'm going to get another one I, for sure. I, like we'll talk about everything in our full Beauty Pie review, but I am just like, okay, well they can make a product as good as this. There's gotta be other like well, and amazing. This, this I really, really love. Yeah, but, like, but I do think it's like a complete dupe. Like it wasn't as innovative as yeah. this. I think it's it so innovative. So innovative. You guys, we work in product development. Yeah. Like, we see a lot of products and I am just, it's Lord. so good. I'm going off, but also if you have both, please, please comment on the fact that they are essentially the same thing. But they're not the same thing. They That's are. Okay. They're not the same thing. But like this one is more like more of like a luxe application. Yeah. Oh, we didn't even talk about the paddle applicator. Oh, I do love that. It's like a flat paddle applicator, pretty flexible. It applies the perfect amount. It's really clean, like the wiper works, so the yeah. wand doesn't. You go can tell clean. there's like no excess product yeah. on the on the wand stem. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so it really is like a lovely component too. Love it so much. 
Okay, we both also wanted to quickly touch on the vitamin C serums we've been using. Oh my gosh, sorry, I have like stickiness on my hand. I know, now. I have it like all on my hand. I should probably like try to like put it on my lips. Yeah, I'm going to get a wipe after we're done with this. But anywho, um, we both did full reviews of these, so we won't go too deep into them. But I've did been we? using. I did. Did you? I don't think I did. So uh, maybe I'll, you I'll talk about mine pretty at length. Okay, so I got the In Beauty product Green Machine. It's the skin transforming oil jelly serum. It has um, vitamin C, 250,000 plant stem cells, 15 super greens. It uses um, THC, which is like a newer form of vitamin C that's more stable, but it has less data behind it than L-azorbic -al acid. Mm -hmm. So, THD. You know, THD or D THC? It's Textra Hexol Desol. Okay, yeah. Um, so, you know, I feel like dermatologists will say that there, since there's less data, like they don't recommend it as much, but because it is more stable, I just gravitated towards that because I feel like I hate when I buy a vitamin C and I'm like, it either destroys my skin or it goes bad in like two weeks. Um, I feel like it's just a waste of money, you know? So I was really intrigued by this because it was like a oil serum emulsion type of product and you can see it's i mean the green color some people like hate i don't really mind it it obviously doesn't go on your skin green but it is still like very very thin even though it's like an oily serum and it doesn't really feel like oil at all it's still really absorbed into the skin right away I apply it on slightly damp skin as I do most of my serums and I feel like, you know, it takes a little bit to settle in but I just like let it sit there, let it settle on my face. You only need four to five drops so a little goes a long way because it is a very thin consistency but it sinks into the skin perfectly. I've noticed that my skin looks overall like more even, brighter. I don't really have a lot of like acne scars. I know on the, on Sephora you can see like the before and after pictures and they really like tell you that this will help with like fade acne scars and it'll help with like hyperpigmentation and I do have like some sunspots and I know that this is not going to get rid of the sunspots but I just overall have noticed that this has really helped to even out my skin it's not too harsh which I know is like is such a pain point for me with vitamin c serums a lot of them just like really destroy my skin so I've been really loving this and I feel like the one ounce will last me quite some time because like I mentioned a little goes a long way it's really affordable this brand it seems to be doing a lot of like really innovative clean products which you know how we feel about clean beauty like as long as the product's good we don't really care as much about the clean aspect but if you're into that and you like totally you know believe in that movement then definitely look out for this brand because I feel like they have a lot of really interesting products and I've really been enjoying this. Okay, and the vitamin C that I got is the Paula's Choice Super Antioxidant Concentrate Serum. It was really nice because um, Paula's Choice is on Amazon so that's where I ordered it but um, they also have a lot of sales on their site quite often. And I just trust this brand. We actually, this is my first like purchase of theirs. Yeah. But they had sent us the cleansing balm, mm -hmm. which is really great. Um, and you know, they've been around forever. So I wanted to reach for them when trying to find a vitamin C. And um, this one is like really interesting because it also has the same vitamin C, the tetrahexyl desol and so it's very stable and it's this one is it's really high up in the ingredient list so yeah. I don't think that they talk about the percentages on Paula's Choice but um, I can only guess that it has a high percentage of vitamin C it's only under dimethicone so I will get into that there's uh, quite a silicone feeling and then oh I can't say that first word so anyways there's other really good things in here there's frilic acid which really also helps to stabilize mm -hmm. vitamin C um, and helps it like with you know last longer and be more effective um there's bear berry turmeric root soybean seed extract what else did i see in here glycerin beta glucan which is really oh, yeah. hydrating um to soothing choco i don't know if i can never say this toco for all what so for all what does it it's vitamin e it's in it's in everything it's an antioxidant it's mm -hmm. not vitamin e. but it helps to stabilize it's not vitamin e yeah it is oh well it's an antioxidant um the other ones in here are, there's just a lot of antioxidants in here, obviously, from the name. And then there's also a ceramide, ceramide and peat, which I love ceramides. Yeah, they're the best. So I bought this because I recognized a lot of positive things on the ingredient list. So I wanted to get it. And the first thing I noticed is that this is actually super thick. It says you only need one to two pumps, which is absolutely true. But um, when you pump it out, which is really nice, it's in an airless pump. Apparently yeah. this used to be in a tube, which I don't mm. even understand how that could have worked. Yeah, because weird. it's so thick. But they repackage it to an airless pump. And I do like one and a half pumps. I honestly, okay, maybe I'll show you a little bit. I don't want to waste it, but 
it, oh, it is thick. Yeah, it looks like when I first pumped it out, I was like, oh my god, am I gonna put like syrup on my face? Yeah. Like, it feels super thick, but then when as soon as you start to like blend it in, you can kind of feel that like dimethicone silicone feeling mixed with like oil. Like it feels like a silicone oil, which maybe doesn't sound you know nice to you, but. As soon as I blend it into my face, you see how like shiny and like oily this looks. That actually goes away in under two minutes. Like maybe I just have like pretty dry skin, but I don't think I do. I have pretty combination skin. But this soaks in so quickly that usually I'll like put it on and maybe like brush my teeth or do something else. And then by like literally in under two minutes, it is like completely soaked in and you don't have this like oily residue anymore. And I'm good to like go on with my other steps. So I love that it actually soaks in, but it does provide that like hydrating feeling. Yeah, and that's kind of like mine too. Yeah, mm -hmm. and also because of the dimethicone, like if you don't like silicones, you know, that's on you, that's fine. Um, but I, I actually feel like it almost provides like an occlusive layer, like it doesn't feel, I don't know, it just like soaks in, but it feels like it's like, like, okay, my vitamin C is on, it's not going anywhere. It's mm -hmm. not like other products I've tried where I'm like, they soak oh, in too quickly. Oh, and then, like, yeah. is it coming off when I put on my moisturizer? Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like it sort of, like, sets down, if that makes sense. Um, it's still shiny on my hand, but I promise you it does absorb in. Maybe if you have really oily skin, this would stay a little bit more emollient. But I saw a lot of reviews on the Paula's Choice website say that they had oily skin and they could still use it, even though um, the brand, like, does a good job at telling you what type of skin you should have to use the mm -hmm. product. So it says normal dry. Um... But anyways, at first I was like really taken aback by the, how it feels and just the experience applying it. So I wanted to mention that, but I've been using this for a month and I have never had more even skin. Like, I feel like you always had like really even skin, like more so than I have. Britta Maybe. Has, Britta has really good skin. Um... But I also have, um, like, a few, maybe, like, a year ago, I had a lot of breakouts on my chin, obviously, like, hormonal. And they've obviously healed. Like, my breakouts, thankfully, heal pretty quickly. But I did have, like, a lot of dark spots. And I feel like everything has gotten, like, lighter and brighter. And I just cannot get over how even my skin looks. Like, when we were just back home in Wisconsin, I was just wearing, like, a tinted sunscreen, like, daily for, like, my makeup. Because I felt like mm -hmm. my skin looked so even. And it looked like I had foundation on someone actually told me that monica mm -hmm. she, our friend monica she was like you don't have makeup on like one day i just like didn't have anything on and i was like no i don't have any makeup on she's like your skin looks so even so mm -hmm. i know it's working and that's like the best feeling when you try a skincare product and it actually works well, especially vitamin c because like we said we haven't really found one that's really yeah. been effective but yet yeah, gentle enough yeah because l exorbic acid really messes with my skin yeah, me too. too like i can't use it so if you can there is a lot of data behind that vitamin c but it is very unstable um but it really makes my skin irritated so we both knew we had to try something with yeah. the, the tetrahexyl dexyl. <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying this all correct. Um, but anyways, I'm super impressed. I feel like Paul's Choice is a pretty, like, moderately priced brand. Like, it's not... Yeah, for, like, the data that they have and how long they've been around. and Yeah, like, I don't think it's, like, crazy expensive no. um, if I have to, if this is something... I obviously haven't gone through it yet, but assuming I'll probably have to repurchase every, like, three to four months. Yeah. I don't think, like, that's too bad. See, you can see. Mm -hmm. It's, like, soaked in now. Can you see? So it's great. Um, I really love this. I'm super impressed with it. And it didn't make me break out. At first I thought it was, but it was something else I was using. Yours didn't make you break out either. Right? No. So mm -mm. that was great. Okay, I have a book favorite this month. I've actually read, I think, two or three books in June. Um, but this was by far my favorite. So this is called, called. It's not like the movies by Carrie Winfrey. Um, so she wrote the book Waiting for Tom Hanks that I read almost exactly a year ago. Actually, I looked back at my Goodreads. Um, if you follow me there, you can see all my books because I don't talk about them all because like for instance, this last one that I've read, I gave a two. I didn't really like it. So I won't be talking about it here. Um, but Waiting for Tom Hanks, I really, really loved. It was basically about this girl that lives in like this small town, Ohio, and there's a movie being filmed in their town and she like basically falls in love with the main movie star. Like, not completely, you know, realistic, but I loved it. And she's always like lived her life like waiting for her Tom Hanks. Like she loved romantic comedies, and as do I. And I love Tom Hanks. His specifically his romantic comedies are my favorite. So I was drawn to that book, and then I wanted to read this because it was by the same author. And it's basically like a 
spinoff, I guess I would say, because the best friend in the first book, this is like her storyline and like her happily ever after. Um, so I guess I don't want to say like too much, but there's this her name's Chloe and she basically, um, she lives in Ohio still. Her best friend has like went off and married this movie star and she takes care of her dad who has Alzheimer's. Um, she has a twin brother like moved back into town. She's like lost touch with her mom. Like basically she has a lot going on and she falls for her boss at the coffee shop she works at. Um, so it's just a really cute storyline. Um, I really like their relationship. It seemed more realistic than the first book. Um, although I still really love that one, but it kind of reminded me of Luke and Lorelai because mm. he's very like, you know, like a scruffy like coffee shop owner. Gilmore Girls if you have no idea. Who yeah, Gilmore Girls. And she is very like loud. Um, I feel like she's maybe like a little more eclectic than Lorelai, but their storyline like really reminded me of Luke and Lorelai. So maybe that's another reason I really liked it. But it's a really cute summer read if you're interested. Very light, very easy to read. I really, really like this author. I don't know if she has any other books aside from these two, but if she does and you've read them, please let me know because I really want to try more from her. Okay, hey, last one. This is getting super long. Yeah. I did a whole video on this, so I won't go too in depth, but Glossier Ultra Lip in the shade Trend. I have it on right now. Well, I just put that stuff over. So let me put a little more on, but it's incredible. I love this formula. I think it's so good. It's so easy to throw on every day. I don't love it as much as this now. <laughs> That's like I knew, like, but I wish this came in a brown. Yeah, because I know. Then it would be you to so light. Yeah, then it would be a dream. This shade is my dream shade. Um, I love it so much. It's so cushiony. It feels like hydrating. It makes your lips look like really plump and nice. It's so easy to throw on. It's really affordable. I think about eighteen dollars. I like the packaging. It's great. I love it so much. Um, I'm really impressed with this Glossier launch. I feel like I haven't really liked anything from them in a long time. And I'll link my full review down below if you want to see more of my thoughts. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching our June favorites. We had a lot to get through. We had a lot of like really amazing products mm -hmm. we found this month. So it's been a good, good month. As always, let us know what you've been loving down below. We'd love to hear from you guys. You guys get us, you know what we like. So please leave your recommendations down below.